Hey, it's Wednesday. We're halfway through another week, and uh, I hope you're doing well. It's, uh, boy, it, it, it just, they just keep coming, don't they? Day after day, week after week, and um, God is still the same. God is still good. Um, you know, I read something uh, this morning, just kind of a funny thing someone put out there like, hey, listen, you know, <laughs> life may be tough, but uh, you're still here. You're still here. And uh, you know what that means? That means God has been faithful and uh, we can trust him to continue to be faithful. So take a second, take a breath, and just say, God, I am so thankful that uh, I have another day of life. I have another day of purpose. I have another day to honor you. I have another day to uh, show others your goodness. And uh, so let's, let's do another day together. Um, so a couple of quick uh, updates. Um, number one, this is very important. Um, this Wednesday, today and next Wednesday, there will be no Matthew Bible study. Uh, let me say that again for this week and next week, no Matthew Bible study. Um, as many of you know, I've had a death in the family. They've asked me to come and do the service. So it's like just totally thrown my week out of, uh, kilter the next two weeks actually um so i'll be traveling quickly down and back to west virginia um both this week and next week actually um so uh that's number one um number two this is a big one july 5th sunday july 5th there will be no in-person services there'll be no in-person services everything will be online um kind of like it was a few months ago a few weeks ago really um, so there'll be no services here at the church. Everything will be pre-recorded and, uh, you'll have it online. So, um, you're going to want to go there. That's July 5th, not this Sunday, the 28th, next Sunday, July 25th or July 5th. Oh my goodness. I'm messing up myself. Okay. So those are very important announcements. Those two right there. Don't forget we have the food drive on Sunday. Um, and, uh, you know, just looking for you to bring all of that and uh, have that, you know, we just want to bless our community. So please, whether you, you bring it and put it outside or you come uh, and bring it with you to church, either way is great. You can always bring it early. And uh, we're here during the day. Um, so those are some of the things that are happening um, this week and upcoming. So I want to talk to you. Uh, today about um, something we like very, very, very none of us, none of us like doing. Nobody likes waiting. Nobody. I mean, we, especially in today's society, we want it now. We want it five minutes ago. Um, it can't be fast enough. We want fast food. We want um, we want drive up service. We want instant gratification. We want 24-hour news, um, everything. I mean, we want Wi-Fi everywhere all the time. Um, we want the fastest flights, the fastest trains, the fastest, you know, planes, trains, automobiles. Um, we're just not good at waiting. And God has us in a place where we have to wait. We we um, we can't make um, this pandemic go any faster. Um, we can't we can't make that job offer happen any sooner. Um, if you're single, you can't make that relationship um, you know materialize quick enough. Um, or you, you, you know, you, you have no control over some of these things and the waiting is, is tough. So I want to talk to you a little bit about waiting, uh, today in our next couple of minutes here. Uh, Psalm 62 verses one and two says this for God alone, my soul waits in silence from him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. Now look at this last part. I shall not be greatly shaken. David says that the one thing I can be content to wait for is God. The one thing I, I can settle myself to wait for is God. And because when 
I am in God's timing, everything is right. So even, and he goes on to say this, even in the waiting, God protects and keeps me. So, so even in the times we don't feel like God is doing enough or he's doing it fast enough or he's not, he's not, um, he's not meeting my expectations or my demands in the time, fashion, way that I want, I have to recognize that I'm still where God wants me to be. And that because I'm waiting, God is teaching me something. In the waiting, there's a lesson. Um, it's been said, and I think, I think maybe um, Nick Vitato said it on Sunday, don't let, don't let um, pain, suffering be wasted. Don't let the times of waiting be wasted, I would say today. That in the waiting, there are lessons. There's benefit in the waiting. Now, is it natural for us to desire waiting? No. Is it, is it, um, is it comfortable waiting? No. But in the waiting, God is still at work. And, and that's what we have to settle our hearts on. God, why are you not giving me the answer to the question well, there's got to be a reason for that. Um, it's either for my benefit or it's not ready yet, so I need to I need to just settle. Um, why haven't I found that relationship that I I so you know my 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 soul my my being I I want to be in a relationship. And God's saying, but the right person hasn't come along. I'm developing that person for you. Maybe they're not ready. You may be ready, but they're not ready. And let me do my work. So pray for whomever that may be in the waiting. Why hasn't that job materialized yet? You know, I need a job. And God's saying, no, you need the right job. So wait on me. And in the waiting, I'm going to protect you. And I like this last part. It says, I shall not be greatly shaken because God has me protect. He, he doesn't say I won't be shaken. Okay. We're being shaken right now as a society, as the church of God, as the people of God, um, as a nation, as, 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 you know, bigger than that, as a, a complete worldwide society, we're being shaken. Okay. There's, there's things that are going on that are shaking us. But the reality is we're still being protected. So even in the shaking, there's protection. Even in the shaking, God's got us. So we can put our trust in all kinds of different places. But ultimately, ultimately, the only thing that's going to satisfy, the only thing that's going to be safe, the only thing that's going to protect and keep us is God. So we have to wait. I've got three questions for you today in the waiting um, that you could just take time today to, um, to answer. You ready? How do you react when things don't go your way? Number one, how do you react when things don't go your way? Number two, what is one thing you are waiting on God for right now? What's one thing? An answer, a job, a relationship, peace. What's one thing you're waiting on God for right now? That's number two. Number three, what is one step you can take to build your faith in this season of waiting? What's one step you can take to build your faith in this season of waiting? Father God, I pray that you'd help us to wait on you, that, that you have us where you need us to be for our protection, for our good, for our spiritual growth. God, I pray that we would be faithful, faithful, even in the waiting, that we would, we would find that rest that comes from you, even in the waiting. Lord, for those that are anxious, worried, those that want right now, they feel like their opportunity, their moment, their possibility is slipping away, Lord, just remind them that you've got them right where they need to be right where you want us to be. And God, there's no safer, better place to be than where you have us right now. Thank you for it. In Christ's name.
Amen. Okay, folks, we'll see you tomorrow, Thursday morning. Blessings. Thanks for spending a couple minutes with me today.